Hello everybody. In this next video, I'm going to be showing how to move the user form when you don't have a title bar. Now, in the previous video, I explained how to create the user form without having any kind of title bar. I'm going to hit F5 to show that example again in case you're just watching this video. So we have a captionless or titleless user form if any of those are phrases or words. And I'm going to go on and close this out. To make this video a little bit simpler though, I'm going to remove this code that I already have. Now if you're still going to continue with a window that doesn't have a title bar, by all means just keep your code there and just add the code in that I'm going to show in this video. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my, my notepad window. Now I have this code that's towards the top that's declaring a, the, a mouse down boolean and two double variables the starting X and the starting Y because what we're going to be looking at is the mouse position the X and Y coordinates of the mouse and these need to be global variables meaning anywhere inside the user form the code we can access these variables so I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to go into my user form just double click it so that you're in the code but scroll all the way to the very top and then you're just going to paste in the code of the starting X, starting Y, these are both again doubles, and then just a Boolean variable, mouse down. On the user form initialize, you want to set the Boolean to being false. So the moment the user form is loaded under initialize, you want to declare this variable as being false. And the way you get to it, again, from user form, you'll double click it. On your right hand corner, you're going to select the initialize feature there were this procedure and that's where you're going to type in mouse down is equal to false now under user form mouse down this is what we're going to want to do this is going to set the boolean to being true and you, this is where you're going to get your starting x and your starting y position so if I go to user form and on my right hand corner I'm going to do mouse down First off, let me show you what this does. If I was to do, let me take off my number lock. Okay, if I also do message box X, and then I'm just gonna show you what this is doing. Okay, getting my X coordinate and Y coordinate of the mouse. If I also hit F5 right now, and if I click my mouse down, here it's telling me that the X is 153 and the Y is 47. If I also put my mouse more towards the corner of the user form and click in here, now it's giving us 3 and 4.5. And then of course more towards the very corner should give me like a 0, 0, but I would have to be right perfect, right on, right on point. So that's all it's doing is giving me the X and Y. So when we do a mouse down, we want to get these starting values, that way we can move the user form accordingly. So instead of having this message box, I'm going to put the code into where we put the variable mouse down is equal to true, and we get the starting x and the starting y variables. These are global variables because we have the we have them declared up at the very top. So anywhere within the user form, we'll be able to access these coordinates. So we have the mouse down. Now what we need to do is put in the boolean mouse down is equal to false where the mouse up is. So I'm going to double click user form again and I'm going to select the feature mouse up. That way we put mouse down is now equal to false. And then the last piece of code that we need to put is on mouse move. So under mouse move we have an if statement. If mouse down is equal to true then we're going to move the user form. Now this you will change the user form name you will change based on the name of your own user form in this case the name of mine is user form 1 you could also put me.left is equal to me.left and then adding the x minus the starting x and then me.top is equal to me.top plus y minus the starting y position. You could do that or you can just put your user form name. If I was not to have this if statement and I also hit F5 anytime I move the mouse over the form it's just gonna make it move and we don't have a starting X or starting Y so it doesn't work properly so you wanna have that if statement there if mouse down is equal to true then and then let's play this out if I'll hit F5 
anywhere I, I hold my user form mouse down I'm able to click and I'll be, I'll be able to drag the user form now if you have a user form that doesn't have a title bar and you want to have this effect so let's just say you have a, a label on the top that'd probably be the best thing to do color your label now I'm not gonna make this fancy but I mean you color it your to your preference maybe you even have a picture but I'm just gonna put like a blue title bar and let's just say this is your title bar and let's just use your imagination pretend that I don't have a title bar already set up I'm gonna use this code right here instead of using mouse move you'll take it out of mouse move uh, you'll go to label one and in label one you will do mouse move this is where you where you're now gonna paste all your code user form initialized you'll keep the same but like user form mouse down you're gonna have to move that over into label one mouse down so select label one and under mouse down you're gonna paste that code and under user for mouse up you want to keep that there mouse down is equal to false but you also want to set that up on the label as well so under label mouse up we're gonna put mouse down is equal to false and we hit F5 and now if we click on the label and hold the mouse down now we're using that to control the window form so now if I was to click the user form itself, like right now I'm clicking down my mouse, nothing is happening. My user form is no longer moving. It's now specific to the label caption. Again, you could use a picture. Any kind of ActiveX control that you can place in the user form can be used as long as it supports the mouse down, mouse move, and mouse up options. So just tailor the code to your preference. I'm going to have this code pasted onto the YouTube description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.